Please repeat after me. I, Jake McKinnon, take you, Molly Conlon, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Jake McKinnon, take you, Molly Conlon, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful husband. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful husband. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. For better, for worse, richer, or poorer, sickness and health, to love and cherish for as long as we both shall live. Please repeat after me. I, Molly Conlon, take you, Jake McKinnon, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I, Molly Conlon, take you, Jake McKinnon, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful wife. I promise from this day forward to be your faithful wife. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. May we have the rings? The wedding ring seals the vow of marriage and bears witness to their covenant. Jake, as you place the ring upon Molly's finger, please repeat these words. In pledge of the vow of marriage between us, I offer you this ring. In pledge of the vow of marriage between us, I offer you this ring. Mm. Molly, as you place the ring upon Jake's finger, please repeat these words. In pledge of the vow of marriage between us, I offer you this ring. In pledge of the vow of marriage between us, I offer you this ring. By the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I can kiss you now. Oh, yeah. I'd love to kiss you. <laughs> Jen, I'll, I'll get the drinks. Well, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Oh, well, don't worry. I mean, after I say goodbye to all the relatives, um, I'm going to be splitting. Well, it'll probably be for the best. Well, uh, looks like you and Brian are back on track. I mean, it seems like you guys are pretty official, coming to the wedding and all. Well, you were the one who said we shouldn't let what happened. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I guess you were right. Um, I, I did need to give Brian a second chance. Good. I mean, he loves you. And, I mean, he looks happy. But are you? No. I will be, but I don't have to run into you anymore. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to get uh, you guys saying something nice to Jake and Molly, all right? <clears throat> well, Bruno, it has been so lovely knowing you, but as you can see, my husband's come back for me, so... Katie, the kind of marriage you had means nothing. The agreement between you and I means everything. Listen, I promise that I will pay you back every cent of the $248,000 that I owe you. $248,602.22. But who's counting? The airplane company's happy, and so am I. I don't care about the money. You don't care about me. There are plenty of girls out there who are smarter and prettier and more fun than I am who would really appreciate what you have to offer. And I've had them all, but not you. 
You're my unattainable little object. Really? Well, I don't think that's gonna cut the ice with my husband. It's not a problem. I'll just have a nice, long talk. Congratulating each other. Here. You have the rest of your lives to do that. Okay. Yeah, there's a receiving line of some of Oakdale's finest waiting to shake your hand. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Can I talk to you for a second? Vincy, this guy you saw earlier? Uh, could you speak a few words of Italian? <laughs> uh, are you kidding? I got enough trouble speaking English most of the time. Uh, Lucinda? Yeah? Do you recognize this man? Uh, oh, no way. No way. Go, go on about your business, young man. And keep out of the vodka. OK, OK. We've accounted for all the personnel except the guy who passed out in your Look, guest I'm house. I'm sorry. And... Something has got to. I have to mention something. No, no. Hold off on that for right now. OK, hold up. I'm... Let me just look around. I'll help. Bruno's at the bar. He's going to come looking for me. Katie, what is going on? Just say it again. Say what? What? That you came back for me. I came back for you. I got to Tahiti and I realized without you, everything is a huge bore. Oh, I could have told you that. I did tell you that a million times. You just wouldn't listen and now everything is so messed up. There you are, Katie. Saying goodbye again? Don't you just love her long goodbyes? It doesn't look like goodbye now, does it? No? First you tell me to get you a drink, and now you don't want it? You have to make up your mind, honey bun. Don't call her that. Come on, Bruno, let's go. Whatever you say, honey bun. No, don't, 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 Simon. I'm with Bruno now. <laughs> what? Eh. What are you talking about? You heard the lady. She knows exactly what she's saying and exactly what she's doing. <laughs> okay, come on, a little bit closer. I have to get both of you guys in the shot. Right. Yeah, sure. Okay, you first. Oh, Jake, Molly, congrats and, and best of luck to both of you. I just hope forever isn't too long for the both of you. <laughs> um, I love you. Oh, hi, I'm Billy Ross. I just wanted to say that I think it's cool that you guys found each other against all the odds and made it work. We should all be so lucky. Okay, you two want to share a kiss for posterity? Oh, oh, oh no, we're, we're not together. <laughs> I think we'll pass on that, if you don't mind. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, sorry it took me so long. I got caught up talking to Aunt Margo, who says I never called her. That makes the two of us. You doing okay? Yeah, just, just cold. Well, I don't want my girl to be cold. You know what? Um, I'm gonna go. Where are you going? Uh, the lumber yard's making a huge delivery for the deck this afternoon. I already paid for that. You don't need to go down there. They'll just drop it off and leave it outside. But do they know that? You know what? I'm just gonna call to make sure it's okay. Beautiful wedding, huh? Yeah. Rose, Rose. Hey, long time no see. What's the matter? You run out of okay. paper? Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I was a jerk. I, I was preoccupied. You know, I, I didn't even. I didn't tell you how beautiful you were. Tell me now. Better yet, I'll, I'll get some champagne and I'll toast you. Hmm? I'll toast you back. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't right. move, okay? Right here. <laughs> so, Lily, where's Lucinda's famous rose garden? The intruder's got a home section now. I'd love to take some pictures. Oh, I'm sure the roses wouldn't mind. Do you think we should check on the kids first? No, they're fine. I made Luke promise to tell us if he was going to go anywhere else. Oh. So, they're fine. Come on, Mrs. Worrywart. We need you to pose with those roses. <laughs> Right. 
Your grandma's got a whole other house here? Yep. Who is in this one? Nobody now. Man, look at this place. It's got its own pool and everything. Yeah, all right. Come on, come on, side. 